Hi, today I'm going to show you how to assemble my teapot favour box. Well, the template for this box is on my Etsy shop. You'll find the link for that in the description below. So to start with, once you've cut everything out, you need to score and fold down all of those score lines. I'm using 220 GSM cardstock for this teapot box, um, but you can use anything um, 210 to 250 GSM. I'm also using double-sided cardstock. Now, I recommend using double-sided because some of the inside will actually show once you have made your box. So once you've finished folding all of those score lines, you need to apply a little bit of glue on one of those long tabs and also on the little, the little tab as well and attach it to the next side. And then do the same on the next side, on the next tab. And we're going to do this for five of the six tabs. Just make sure that you're lining up those edges carefully at the top and down the side. Okay, so that's the five sides glued. So the next thing you need to do is to take the two handles. I'm going to glue those back to back so that you've got the right sides facing outwards. Then you're going to push those two tabs outwards and those are going to be glued to the sixth um, side like this. And then you can glue those two tabs into place. For the teapot spout, you need to fold this piece in half and then fold that tab up like this. And then you need to just apply, apply a bit of glue onto that tab. Fold the spout in half again and then press it down just until it dries. Now 
Then this is going to go onto the front of the teapot, but just to make that a little bit easier, I'm just going to bend those end parts out a little bit. Just doing that with your fingers, just curve the edges slightly. And apply a little bit of glue just on those on those curved bits. And then position it just at the front of the teapot. So just make sure that you're lining that up so that it's even or, or symmetrical and so that it looks good from, from the front and from the side and from the top. Okay, then so for the lid, you need to take this long piece and because I've done it double sided, you need to work out which side you want to have facing outwards. I've chosen the, to have the spotty side to, facing outwards. Then you need to fold along that long score line. And then fold each of those little score lines. So this is going to create a hexagon. Then starting from that left side, you need to start overlapping those little sections, overlapping them into each other. And that last one should overlap like this. Apply a little bit of glue onto that tab and then hold it down, lining it up, hold it down until it dries. So just make sure that all of those end pieces all lined up in the middle. You can put a little bit of glue in the in the middle there, just to hold it all together. For the rose that goes on top of the teapot, you need to take this circular piece and again decide which side you want to have facing outwards. I've gone for the flowery side this time. So start from the pointed end and you're going to start rolling it, just doing it carefully with your fingers, rolling it all the way. Trying to keep it round and just keep going all the way until you get to the other end. Once you get to the other end, or to the middle of the circle, you're just going to slightly let it go a little bit in your hand, just so that it unravels a little bit. And then you're going to apply, so apply a little bit of glue just to that end piece, that circular piece at the end. And if you push it down slightly as it's drying, just to give it a, a flat base. Because once that's dry, you then just put a bit of glue on the end and then that's going to attach to the top of the teapot. Just try to position it so that it's straight, so that it looks good from the front, from the top, from the side. And there it is a little teapot favour box.